hello I thought I'd um, pop back on here to do episode two of um, chatting foods in your basket so basically I round up some of the products that have been featured in chatting food over the last couple of months also um, praise some of those um, hidden gems which are currently at the back of my cupboard and um, which I found out which I've got a couple um, my lifesavers in here today um, the last time I did this I waffled on a bit so I am planning on making um, a shorter video and um, so I will get started um, all the details about where you can buy products will be um, in the comments below and um, so um, you don't have to take notes <laughs> so um, to start with about six seven weeks ago I was um, quite poorly I had like a um, it's like a random abscess thing on my tonsils um, at the same time I was uh, contacted by the guys at Eggman Honey who um, offered to send me some samples of their new Manica Honey which is these guys are based in New Zealand they're just about to launch well they have just launched in the UK through Holland and Barrett um, they are a godsend when I wasn't very well now I'll be brutally honest like I haven't um really invested previously before in Manica Honey I've kind of like bought the cheap stuff from Tesco's to dribble all over my um toast I won't be doing that again I class this as a bit like um a good face cream like you can get the cheap stuff and you can get the stuff that works um Sometimes you have to invest in good products and this is one of them. Not only, as we all know, does this stuff have um, an amazing um, health benefits from it, proven as well. Um, it also is possibly the best honey you will ever try. So it is not something I suggest you lump into your sweet and sour on a Thursday night. Um, <laughs> not the price. Um, as I said, these are quite expensive for a 250 gram tub like this. You're looking at about £26 from Holland and Barrett, but it is worth it. Um, it definitely helped soothe my throat when I wasn't very well. Um, it didn't cure it. <laughs> antibiotics cured it. Um, very strong antibiotics. But um, definitely get a tub if you can and when you can afford to for your cupboard. Um, Honestly, use, use sparingly, it will be the best one you've ever tried. And I definitely recommend that you give these chaps a go. So yeah, Holland and Barrett. Uh, next on my list is also healthy, is the guys at... Ooh, you dropped it. So the guys at Boosh. They have launched three separate bone broths onto the market. Um, one of them, the chicken one, has worn a... Good Taste Award. Um, they do this one, which is an Asian spiced organic chicken. They do a chicken and they do a, a beef one. I was looking to try all three. I am um, next on my list is this one to try. It's very clear. Benefits of them they are jarred, they've got a um, sell by date, which um, hopefully will be out of lockdown by. So they're definitely a store covered ingredient. Um, I use the beef one as a stock in a dish um, that I did, but I drank the chicken one just as a um, just as a drink, so just as um, a drinking broth. They are absolutely ram full of nutrients. I've tried making chicken stock from carcass bones before never quite looked or tasted like this um, so definitely recommend it. Um, also ram full of collagen so your wrinkles will love you for it um, these are available from their website also available through Ocado currently retailing it at £5 but they do do deals on their website for the more that you buy so if you buy a pack of three or a pack of six I think you get um, a decent discount off it um, as I said, this one's available till 2021, so these are kind of cupboard essentials that will last way past lockdown. Uh, so yeah, give these guys a try. Uh, next on my list is a health bar. Well, as you can tell, I'm not exactly the healthiest human being, so I get a bit 
when health bars land on my desk. But um, this is from the people at Prodigy. They have just launched a range of chocolate bars. Oh, good there. A range of chocolate bars that kind of mimic more um, unhealthy ones. So they do a coconut one, a peanut one, a caramel one, a chocolate orange one. These have no refined sugars in them. So they are supposed to be very good for you. They also um, are, I believe, are vegan. Got to be vegan, I don't know. Um, one of the issues that I had with them is they are extremely um, filling. One bar alone is 30% of your fibre a day. So if you're not getting your fibre intake, um, knock the bran flakes on the head. I'd have a go with one of these. But they are very, very, very... Um, they're heavy going. Um, if you like your snack bars, I definitely try and give them a go. They're available on your website. They're also on their website. They're also available on Ocado and they're also available on Amazon. Um, I'd be interested to know what you think of these. Uh, I definitely have. I definitely am still eating them. I just. Um, know that after them I'm going to be pretty full up which actually is great from a snack isn't it really because then you don't go and eat 17 more so give them a try even though dense um right next on my list we all well most of us I assume at some point have had ooh, Maldon sea salt in their cupboard the guys um have just launched a brand new um grinder um which is hitting the stores in morrison's i believe at the minute um the best thing about this is not only is it full of beautiful molds and salts but it also is um refillable so you buy one you buy one for life two options i'm going to get salt all down me now um you just have to you either get a coarse grind or you it's quite sexy in some respects or you get um you pop it open and you get a um a finer grind definitely something also to invest in i mean especially as it's um reusable uh these are available as i said from morrison's you're looking at about three pound fifty for their new grinder basically what they're looking at is um they've got a marketing campaign out at the moment to see whether you pinch your salt or whether you twist so um let me know if you're a pincher or a twister <laughs> um yeah definitely want to pick up um if only for the funky thing that i've now just tipped all down my trousers lovely um next on my list is one of my store cupboard favorites and i'm sticking to salt because um i'm a bit of a salt lover and that is cornish sea salt i am a huge fan of cornish sea salt but i am the biggest fan in the world of their smoked sea salt like there is like hardly any left in here i basically put it on everything i must just love smoke stuff um it is worth the investment like if you want to take things to the next level then smoke sea salt by the cornish sea salt company is possibly um the best um good for rubbing over meat fish um i want to put it on pork crackling um beautiful um i for two pound just a little over two pound a tub i would consider just buying it just just for the smell really like i'd have that in a candle if I could, um, these are available on their website. Um, they have such beautiful range of salts as well, so I definitely have a log on later. Also, um, they're available from Tesco's, I believe. So, Popey favourite. Also, another Popey favourite is Gourmet Spice Companies you can tell how much I'm using this like I need to go and buy another bottle, is um, their white truffle aged balsamic. Like this stuff, if you're a truffle fan, this is something you have to try. It is just, just the smell of it alone. Like I just put it on a plate with some good quality olive oil and just dip bread into it. Um, 
it is the most Moorish thing. I um, came across these guys at the Good Food Show in Birmingham last year, the summer one. Um, I bought their white balsamic and also their normal balsamic, but I also bought this. This is just, oh, absolute heaven. Um, I can't go on about it enough, really, can I? Look, I'm having a bit of a, having a, bit of a moment. Um, definitely try them. Um, let me know what you think. I will be buying several more bottles of this because I genuinely think this is the only thing that's going to get me get through the next three weeks of lockdown is homemade bread, some balsamic, white truffle, and um, wash down with a good glass of wine afterwards. So that's it. I think I've um, managed to get this in uh, under 15 minutes <laughs> this time. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it. All the links will be on the comment section below. Um, I hope you can join me for the third one. I've got some really good products coming up for that. And if there is any questions you have, any products that you want um, featured, let me know. And um, my email address is ellen at chattingfood.com. I'm always here, so let me know what you think. Um, I'm now off to eat some bread with this <laughs> and I will see you very soon. Bye!